check it. If everything's good, take it off. MEK it. I'm running out of MEK in my glass, so. I'll fill her back up a little bit. Keep that MEK stuff out of the way. If you got kids, keep it put up, man. That stuff. I would hate to see any kid get a hold of that, you know what I mean? Voila. Kingbo. Flux type RMA218. Got it uh, online on eBay. That's where I usually buy it. First time you buy it, you might want to pay for the faster shipping if you need it quick. Second time, just once you start getting low, go ahead and order it and let, let it normal shipping, which would be about 20 days from Hong Kong. Hong Kong. Don't need much on there. Man, I need to grab some paper towels. Probably about to run out of tape, so um, I just gonna keep going, I guess. Move the flux around. My finger. Be honest with you, you don't even really want it to look like you put any on. If there's any around the edge, try to get rid of it. Put the stencil on, grab your soldering balls. It's a 0.6 millimeter on the GPU. Set it down. Make sure you grab it underneath. Grab your best friend pick tool. Let's lean it up a little bit and knock the balls that are straggling down in the little section that kind of holds them. Alright, looking good. So, I don't just push down on this, I've done it before and I know it's because I got the chip too close. There's little spacers or little screws on these corners, you're supposed to raise them up. 
so you get the right gap, but I don't want it too big of a, I worry about the gap, and I don't want balls getting underneath the stencil and causing all kinds of problems, so the best way I found out to do it is just kind of grab one in the middle. Take it out, put your little tool there in the middle where you took the ball out. You don't push on it, you just kind of keep it there. And when you push down, you kind of just let it go with it. And then you just raise it up. Can't ask for anything better than that. Looks really good. Grab the one you took off. Now if you have troubles putting it you know, in the spot, in the middle, you can always push ball. Alright, tape two. So, I put the one back that I removed. Um, like I said, you can always just push the other ones over to keep pushing one over until you got a little spot on the side. And then you can put the new one, or the one you took off, on the side. Uh, whatever's easier. Just have a glance over it. Make sure you don't see any that are showing like over half the pad. And if you don't, which I don't, grab your hot air gun without any nozzles on it, reducing nozzles, just the hot air gun. Turn it on. Since this is a bigger chip, you know, you're probably going to need to move it around sooner, but very slowly. I put mine on about one and a half to start off. Temperature 365. Get a timer of some sort. Mine is my droid. <laughs> I love annoying orange. The apple. The, the, the apple. Anyways, grab your timer. And we're going to start off and try to do this so you can see. You want to keep the hot air guns to start off as high as you can with your elbows on the table. Your fingertips keeping it as high as you can for three minutes. It's, kind of, it's like a nine minute process as long as you don't have to keep moving balls. You got to start off high so you can burn some of that flux off or they're just going to join together. and cause more problems than when you started. You don't, I mean, if you see any that, you, that move in the beginning, within the three minutes, three, four minute range, you don't have to just move those, I mean, because uh, they're still not liquefied yet, you can wait, just, you're, right now the point is to burn some of that flux off. That light helps.
definitely see them moving. I mean, just imagine if you started this off right at so really close. I mean, they would just be a big mess. Uh, at the three minute mark, which is in 10 seconds, we're going to turn the heater or the turn the hot air gun down as low as it can go. Move the hot air gun about an inch or so closer. Leave it there till four minutes and 30 seconds. Forget since it's a bigger chip, you need to move around a little bit and circle circular motion, not fast, like just slow. Like, I do see some I'm gonna have to move, so I'm gonna put the air gun down at 4 minutes and 30 seconds, which is right about now. Stop your timer. Basically looking for the ones that are really close together, obviously, and ones that are showing a good amount of pad underneath. 